Hello and welcome, ITTV Gaming here. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to build this netherwood house. As you can see, it is a quite a lovely design. I have tried to use some blocks that I haven't used before. This is the interior of this house. We got a lot of storage on the corners, got a bedroom, a cooking area, and a lovely bookshelf right here. If you want to build along, this is basically everything you need. And I will have the same list in the description. So keep that in mind. Once you got everything you need, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by outlining everything. We're going to have a one white window first. Then we're going to go in two blocks. And this is going to be the entrance. So we want to skip two blocks. We're going to repeat the same thing right here as well. For the sides, what we're going to do is quite simple. You want to go in one block from the corner. Then we're going to repeat the same window shape go into blocks and we're going to have a four white wall right here and after that we can just build in the last window right here okay let's build this side in and for the back side we're going to again repeat the same thing as we have done for the sides okay now we're going to build up each pillar six blocks high then we're going to build in the windows while we go. Now let's build everything up. Okay, now before we continue, let's build in the entrance. You want to have two doors like this, add two stairs on top, then simply fill this all in for now. Now we're going to decorate the windows and then we're going to build some art shapes. The basic decoration for the windows is looking like this. And here we go. This is the basic decoration for each one. And once you got each window, we're going to build in four art shapes in total. Just like this. And we're going to do the same thing on each one. So we want to go up one block and then go in and up. And here we go. This is what it should look like. Okay, now let's decorate the entrance and the side walls want to start off with a lot of fences like this then add two ladders followed with two lanterns you want to replace these two with two lanterns again on the sides you want to have a row of deep sleigh stairs do the same thing on top followed with iron bars then take some dark oak fences and place it in we're going to use some dark oak fences on these sides followed with two buttons like that Okay, so we're going to do this for the remaining two corners. Next up, we're going to add some stairs on top of each arch shape. Then take some warp buttons and place it in as well. Okay, now let's repeat this for each arch shape. So let's go ahead and let's decorate the pillars before we get the roof in. So you want to have some upside down stairs. I'm going to show you one side first and all the remaining sides are actually going to look the same. So you want to have two stairs on the sides and connect them with some slabs. Okay, here you just want to have three slabs like this and then we can just simply go out and continue this way. Then go ahead and place some trapdoors on top. Now what we're going to do for these pillars is adding some stairs underneath and then you want to have some iron bars going all the way up. And we're going to do this for each side. Okay, now let's take some deep state tile stairs and let's connect these sides together. Just like this. And we're going to do this for each one. Okay, then go ahead and add a row of planks on the back side of your stairs. This makes it much easier to get the second row in and we're going to get the third and the fourth row in exactly the same way. Then at this point you want to add in some black concrete. And after that go ahead and cover this up with some slabs. Okay now let's move in and let's start decorating the interior of this house. 
Now I'm going to use some stripped arco boot for the floor, but you can use some planks or even mix in some planks if you want to. Okay, now let's place some pillars on the inside as well. Before we build each one up, make sure that you light up everything. Then you want to build each pillar up until this point right here. Okay, then again, we're going to use some barbed stairs to cover this. Okay, now we are going to add some stripped barbed pillar. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but place it on top. Okay, then again we're going to take some stairs and we're going to place it going all the way around. Okay, that looks nice. Now we still need to light up this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to add fences on the corners. Then we're going to add two lanterns on the sides. Okay, then add one more fence right here and let's light this up as well. Okay, looks good. Now if you want to you can even make sure that this all connects together. Then take some polished black stone button and place it in. Okay, now let's start decorating this. We're going to have storage on the corners. So we want to start off with chests going up. Then take some barrels and place it in on the corner, in the corner right there. Here we go. And that is basically the same thing what we're going to Okay, now let's decorate the entrance first and after that we're going to build in the bedroom. So you want to have your fences going all the way around, followed with two lanterns and two ladders like that. Add and place iron bars on the sides going up. Now let's go ahead and let's build in the bedroom. To start off you want to have two pillars going up. Then take your stairs and place it in like that. Place again some for blocks underneath and place your bed on top of them. Place the dark oak doors and open them up. Okay, then on the sides you want to go for the deep slate stairs again. Then go up with some iron bars. And in the center we are going to use some buttons again. Okay, to light this up we are going to introduce the dark oak fence. Then let's get rid of these two and let's add two lanterns. Here we go. Okay, here we're going to have a cooking area. So start off with two chests and place two furnaces on each corner. Place walls going up. Place six campfires like this. Go ahead and surround this with some fences. Okay, then you want to have two barrels like this. And on top of this, you want to go for some trapdoors. And here we go. We got a cooking area. If you want to, you can even add some trapdoors on these two sides and close them. Okay, we're going to have a bookshelf right here. So you want to cover this all in with some bookshelves till this point. Then add your stairs going across. On the sides, you can go for fences again. This time, we're going to go ahead and add in some fences going down. And on both sides, you want to add your lanterns. And here we go that is going to be it for this one now i am actually pretty happy with how this one turned out and hopefully you all enjoyed this one as well and if you did please leave a like and subscribe have a nice day i see you the next time